Okay, I'm going to do a quick tutorial for our classroom for exercise 23. You're going to go under more tutorials and scroll down and click on apply filters. This is where you'll get the files. Now, for some reason, um, Adobe is, is downloading two files. You only need to click on one. And when you double click, the only two files you need to open is blur and filter gallery. So hit shift click on blur, then click on filter gallery, right click on your mouse and open with Adobe Photoshop. Okay, you're going to follow her video tutorial for the flower image and she's going to take you into filter gallery and show you how to apply the, the filters in the filter gallery. And then I'm going to get you to follow my instructions for this image and I'm going to show you how to apply a Gaussian blur filter in a different way. And so the first thing you want to do is take the lock off your background and go ahead and hit Command J and make yourself a copy. Um, you can keep a copy in your Photoshop file by um, clicking on the layer, um, locking it, and take the eyeball off. And that saves a copy for you that can't be um, destroyed in any way because you have it locked. So then click back on the layer and we want to add a Gaussian blur just to the background. So I'm going to use the quick selection tool and I'm going to start at just the layer of grass and I'm going to get the running ants to just grab the top of the Volkswagen but not go into the Volkswagen. And then come down to the grass and I'm going to go across to the into the photo and then back up and get it to push all the way up into the mountains. And so it's going to give a blur to this area that I have the running ants around. So I go up to filter, down to blur and Gaussian blur, and you can do 3.2 or you can move the radius if it's too much to maybe like a 2 to make it look not quite so blurry in the background. Um, but really just play around with it. Anything that you want, um, you can do. So let's take it down to two for this exercise. Okay, and I'm just gonna take a screenshot to show you in the instructions, but you just click okay, and then you can hit Command D to deselect, and there is your photo. So if you want to take the eye off and see what it originally looked like, that's what it originally looked like. And then now that's with the blur. And that's all you have to do for this photograph is just put a Gaussian blur filter on there at 2.0. All right. Thanks for watching.